Welcome back, Turners. Well, today's video is not going to be about wood turning specifically, although um, I will be using the bandsaw that I recently bought. Um, I'm going to be cutting up some uh, logs, which, you know, if uh, I were turning, you know, bulb blanks or making some other, you know, stock for turning, uh, would be turning related. This is actually going to be a different kind of project. Um, I have uh, an opportunity to make some wood cookies, I guess they're called, or wood slices. Just basically slicing up the log to make some, I guess like oversized coasters for, you know, table decoration. Um, so I've got uh, a couple of logs. Oh, i got one here on my lap. In fact, let me show it to you. There it is. And it's got some interesting grain on there. I'm not sure what this wood is particularly, but they're cutting down trees like crazy at my workplace. And uh, they said I could have some. So I took some, and uh, now I'm going to be making wood cookies. So anyway, uh, I thought this would be a, a nice trial for the bandsaw as kind of a first project. So uh, let's, let's take a look at the bandsaw a little bit, and um, I'll tell you a little bit about why I bought it. Well, Turners, here it is. This is that grizzly 17-inch bandsaw that I uh, picked up on sale a while back. And um, that's probably reason number one, you know, why this is in my shop now, is because it was on sale. And it was a pretty decent sale, uh, a couple hundred bucks off, I think. And um, I had been looking to get a little upgraded capacity on my bandsaw. Um, if you recall, I had a a Delta 14 inch that I had put a riser block on so I could get a 14 inch resaw out of it. I'm sorry, 12 inch resaw out of it. And uh, of course it had an underpowered motor for that. So I had to, I ended up upgrading that motor to a horse and a half. And uh, it worked pretty good. Um, but you know, it just didn't have the throat depth and stuff that I was kind of also hoping to get. And um, so this one has uh, 16, just under 16 and a half inch throat on it, even though it's a 17 inch bandsaw. And uh, the resaw height is, uh, I think it's uh, 12 and a quarter inches. So it's not a whole lot higher than my old bandsaw. Um, but one of the nice features about this is that two horsepower, uh, 220 volt motor that comes on this thing. Um, that is really, you know, you want that strength when you're, you know, trying to cut through, you know, up to 12 inches or so uh, in thickness of, you know, logs or whatever. So um, it uh, it's not the top of the line model. They have some, uh, I think this has, uh, let me open it up. This has got a, this is a cast aluminum wheel, set of cast iron. Um, still... You know, it's considerable. Uh, it's um, also got the table. Let me see if I can point you down a little bit. The table here. There we go. Sorry about that. It's a cast iron table, actually, so that's nice. comes with a decent fence on it. Um, it's not the upgraded fence. You can get the, um, you know, the resaw fence, uh, you know, with the, um, the higher fence. You know, frankly, I'm going to uh, extend this fence a little higher uh, myself. Um, and that's not difficult at all to add a secondary fence onto this or, or a sacrificial fence for the resaw stuff. Um, other than that, you know, uh, I put it on a mobile base. I don't know if I showed you guys that, but it's on a, it's on a Harbor Freight mobile base. Um, and, you know, I need everything in my shop to be mobile, so... So I did that. Anyway, um, the uh, the saw, um, I think I got it on sale. It was just over eight hundred dollars, and of course you have to pay shipping. And you know, uh, I don't have sponsors or anything like that, so I, this all comes out of my pocket. But uh, I'm I'm pleased with this saw. I've um, done test cuts on you know just some rough lumber, but nothing that you know is a log or anything like that yet. So. Why don't we go ahead and fire it up and uh, see if I can make some wood cookies. Alright Turners, before I get started with the log cutting, I thought I'd show you the uh, dust collection hookup that I did here. You can see that this has got um, 
four inch port that's just under the uh, guide bearings and um, then there's another four inch port down at the bottom so I took a piece of uh, that flexible hose and a T and then this is the line that goes back to my uh, dust collection ducting so that's uh, that's what I'm doing for dust collection on this thing works out it's a pretty easy hookup so all right, so I've got the log up on the table. We've got the um, guard adjustment uh, to the right height. And um, this is green wood. It uh, was just cut a couple days ago. And one of the reasons I'm going to slice it up now is because uh, I want to get it to dry um, within the next month or so. And... Um, I'm hoping that this would, I don't know if you can see the end of it there, it's got some checking already. I'm hoping by slicing it now that I can avoid some of that checking. If it doesn't work I'll just find something else and, and use that, but I like the color in this so anyway what I gotta do first is I'm gonna cut this in half and then I've got a fixture that's gonna actually, um, something I made up a while back, it's actually, I designed it for slicing boards out of logs on the bandsaw, but I'm going to use it to actually take slices off the end of the logs. So I'll show that to you in a minute. Alright guys, well that actually cut really nice. Um, if it looked like it was slow, it wasn't. I was slowing it down just to be careful, not wanting of course the blade to, it's a pretty heavy log, but pull the blade, uh, log into the blade, uh, being that this is a round object. But uh, this is not a bad cut. I mean for, for straight off the bandsaw freehand. And um, boy, that's, it is wet. So that's, um, that's going to hopefully not crack all the heck when it's drying, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get that little uh, fixture I told you about and um, mount it up and start making some slices. Alright Turner, so this is that fixture I was talking about. Um, it's, uh, it, go, it rises in the uh, miter slot of the, um, of the bandsaw table and it's adjustable. So this moves out like this, and uh, normally, you know, if I had um, a log, I would mount it this way, so I could take board slices off of it. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that other log and mount it this way, and try taking end slices off of it. So this is about the maximum range that this is gonna go. I can see that I'll probably have to. Uh, take a slice and it'll probably be two larger pieces and then I'll affix each of those as I slice it down. But I didn't show you and um, I'll have to get you up close to do this. So let's uh, let's see if I can lean you forward here. There we go. Along the edge of this on each side where this board moves forward and backward I've got it graduated for a uh, quarter inch graduations so that I can uh, essentially do slicing in quarter inch as small as quarter inch increments. It is after all bandsaw slicing and if I were using this for um, making boards they'd have to go through the planer eventually anyway. Um, so, But again that's going to let me advance this at a measured pace. If I do for instance a half inch slice and I can just advance this two quarter inches every time. So let's uh, let's man up the log and get to slicing.
Well, tuners, that doesn't look too bad. Um, I may make that a little thicker. That, I just checked that out with my caliper. It is just a hair under half an inch. You can see there's already, you know, in the pith, it's already got a little bit of a stress crack there. I'm not sure. This log I have was about 22 inches long. I've got another one that's even longer. So I may do some in half inch. I may do some in maybe five eighths. Anyway, it's a really pretty wood. Um, I'm going to sand these up a bit and um, then I'm going to actually do some laser engraving on these too. So um, that is the stock blade on there by the way and uh, it's doing a great job. So um, I know I'm going to have to get some more blades at some point but for now it's going to get the job done. So let's, uh, let's cut some more slices. Well, Turners, here's a completed project. Well, almost completed. I'm still working on giving them uh, one more coat. It's going to be um, a poly, a uh, wipe-on poly that I'm going to put on there. What I have on here so far is a tongue finish, which really made the... Let's see if I can do this without... Yeah, there you go. Brought out the color in that grain real nice. So... Uh, that little laser machine I showed you, that's a new item in the shop. You probably haven't seen that before. Uh, did a great job on these things. I'll um, just say that, um, you know, it's uh, it's one of those uh, Amazon type uh, laser engravers that um, you can probably pick up for about 200 bucks. Doesn't have the best software, the one I got. It, it's okay. Um, but I would definitely look at one with a little bit better software package on it. But um, anyway, so uh, so that's a new addition to the shop. Might help me in some other projects like putting um, putting uh, maybe some uh, information on the bottom of the bowls that I make and other wood working projects like um, you know cutting boards and things like that. So anyway, so uh, wipe on poly coat or two uh, should uh, finish these up. Well, Turners, thanks for joining me again for another project. And um, I just also wanted to uh, mention the, the folks that won the drawing from uh, the last video, which was a few months ago now, uh, for the bowl turning depth gauge. Um, so Scott and Tim were the two uh, randomly selected winners, and congratulations on that, Scott and Tim. Um, you had received your uh, uh, depth gauges a while back now, so hopefully they're working out for you guys. Anyway, um, I just want to say uh, thanks for everybody who's following along. Um, again, uh, like, subscribe, comment. Um, I don't monetize these videos, so it's not really about making any money for me, but just more of a, you know, what are you interested in? And, you know, if there's stuff I'm uh, doing or stuff you'd like to see uh, more of, uh, let me know and um, put it down in the comments and uh, I'll check that out. Anyway, uh, the wedding is now next week, so I'm off to that. Uh, so probably not a video again for a little bit. But again, hopefully, um, you know, you saw the bandsaw. Bandsaw performs great. So I think that was a good uh, acquisition for me. And then the lathe over here, um, uh, you're going to get to see more of that because uh, I'm thinking about doing a couple bowls uh, as some Christmas gifts and um, 
Also, I may be uh, picking up one of those uh, bowl savers um, in the not too distant future. So, um, if I do, then uh, of course I'll include that in one of the upcoming videos. So, all right. So again, thanks everybody, and uh, we'll see you for the next one.